Hi, my name is Julian Adams, and I wanted to take a moment just to chat with you around uh, some signs of a false prophet. Um, I grew up in Southern Africa and saw loads of prophetic ministries come through, and many of them derailed themselves and went um, off into massive error. And when I've studied um, the prophets throughout history, uh, there are a number of them who also have done that. And I thought I'd just give you five key signs that will help you discern a false prophet. The first sign and the most important sign is that a false prophet will deny the deity of Jesus. They'll move away from the centrality of Jesus being God. They'll move away from the centrality of him being the God man. When that happens, we're in trouble. It will lead you into all sorts of difficulties and it will remove the genuine well of the prophetic that comes connected to the person of Jesus. Whenever people move away from who Jesus is as fully God and fully man, they replace the source of the prophetic with something that is not from God. The second sign is that they live a life that is lawless and that does not emulate the person of Jesus. Whenever I see lawlessness, particularly to do with sin and to do with um, the way they uh, live in family and community and what they do with money, very often when it is lawless and has no regard for the life of Jesus, I know that something probably is not healthy in their understanding of what it means to be a prophet. The third thing I've noticed about false prophets is they set themselves up as the authority um, representing God's voice to everyone. I know that then something's probably wrong. We have got to be people who respond to the voice of God because of who He is in Scripture and because of a community that begins to um, help us discern the voice of God. Whenever one person sets themselves up as the authority, it is not healthy at all. The fourth sign that I've noticed around um, false prophets is that they will often manipulate and control people beyond their personal conscience and the leading of the Spirit. Whenever someone's prophesying for you to do things that lead you beyond your own internal conscience and the sense of Holy Spirit directing you, something is wrong. And it's important that you evaluate, you listen, you make sure that you weigh prophetic words in a healthy way in order to discern the true character of the prophetic. The last thing, and it's a very simple, but possibly the most profound point that I wanna make, is true prophets minister from the place of love. And love is visible, it looks like something. It's not just spoken about, it's not just um, uh, uh, spoken about from a platform, it's lived out, it's, it's revealed in the prophetic, it's revealed in the words that they bring, and it always points to the love that Jesus demonstrated in the self-sacrificing self expression of his life. When we live from the place of love, you can guarantee that most often the prophet is genuinely trying to walk towards what Jesus was like and to reveal who he is. So those are my five top points in how to discern um, a false prophet. Hey, if you like this content, we've got a whole lot more resources on our website. Click on the link below. In particular, it's a great e-course called Amplify, which uh, will take you through understanding what it means to be a prophet and walk in the fullness of the prophetic call. Over six hours of teaching, it is jam-packed with revelation. So go ahead, click on the link below and you'll be able to find it. Also, please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, we'd love it if you shared this with some of your social media platforms. We wanna make sure that we're getting out a healthy prophetic message to the body of Christ.